everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my March 2021 update for Supernatural Pan Interrupted. This is a painting project that I have started like years ago, literally years ago with my girl Amanda because we are both big Supernatural fans. So we decided we wanted to pan a product for every single episode that ever aired. There have been some people that have joined in. If you will, if you would like to join in, we would love to have you. Um, just let us know down below. I can't remember if I did a sign up sheet or if I've been linking people. I don't, I, I can't remember right now. Um, if I have not linked you, please put something down in the comments. I will um, put your Instagram or your channel link in my description box for anyone that has joined in. I just cannot remember if I have done that in the past, but I do want to, now that more and more people have joined in, I would like to um, make sure that you guys are down in the description box so people can find you. And so I can find you because my brain is scattered. It is scattered. For those of you that um, aren't familiar with this project, like I said, um, it is, it's a crazy long forever project. My hair, I had a hair falling out. Um, that we, we just want to pan a product for every single episode of Supernatural that has ever aired. We started this August 19th, 2018. Yeah, it's been going on for a hot minute. And it's going to be going on for a whole long time more. Because 15 episodes, I'm like on season 3. The end of season 3, but still, season 3. It's going to take a long, long time. So, we are doing 6 products at a time. And um, as we meet goal or finish a product for a particular episode, we will roll that out and roll in a new product for the very next episode in line. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I have three, three that are rolling out, two because they're empty, one because it was a gold net. And I'm happy about that because one has been in here for a very long time. This is for the episode of Fresh Blood. That's about vampires. And you know, it kind of looks like blood. It's red nail polish. I don't know if you can see just how much I used up of that. The only thing that's left in there is like whatever's on the shaker balls and um, I can't get that out. I don't think anybody can get that out uh, unless I was to put so much thinner in there and then I would have to either dump the thinner or put it in another polish, which I don't have another polish that needs that much thinner. So yeah, it's pretty daggone clean in there. For the next one, it was the episode Ghost Facers, which... Ghost Facers, if you have not watched Supernatural, um, I absolutely love their campy video, or like not videos, their, their campy episodes, and Ghost Facers is definitely one of them. Ghost Facers is just, it's a team of people that just are not to be taken seriously. They just, they're not. And um, they crack me up so much. Um, that episode was, let's see, um, a that, that was the first time we saw Ghost Facers. It was about a house that they visited that is supposed to be haunted and there's allegedly um, someone dies in the house every single leap year at the stroke of midnight. Um, it's gruesome and it's funny at the same time. That's that's kind of like Supernatural rolled up like in a nutshell. It's my husband sneezing out there. Um, so um, yeah, I chose Urban Decay and Midnight Cowboy. I have made a little bit of progress on this, expanded the pan slightly. My goal was just to use it 20 times. I did. It was so easy to use. Uh, I use it as a lid shade. I use it as an inner corner. I have used it as a highlighter, but I'm trying to pan four highlighters this year, so I didn't use it as that this particular time, but it can be used for that. Um, and the last one is Long Distance Call. I knew this one was going to be empty. I rolled it in last time. Um, this is the Revive Serum Tell Them, Tell Them Erase Serum. Um, this one, I actually really like this one a whole lot. It is an incredibly thick serum and, um, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed it. I was surprised because, you know, I'd never used any of their skincare before. I did use their like brow treatment, which I actually really liked, but if this wasn't so stupid expensive, I probably would purchase it again. Let's see, this little, little foil right here is worth $29.50 which is insane. Their products are incredibly, incredibly expensive, but I've tried two different things from them and I've actually really liked both of them. So, you know, maybe you do get what you pay for sometimes. All right, the continuing products, um, probably not gonna be too awful surprised because they've been in here for a little while. This is the Starlux Gem Pencil in Ultra Olive. Um, 
I want to get 20 uses on it. I'm at 14. So if I can use this six times in the next month, I can finally roll it out. Um, that would make me super happy. Not that I don't love it, but I just want to work on something else. So six more uses and then uh, we can call that one done. Um, a very supernatural Christmas. That's another campy episode. Um, I have this nail polish. This is the Holiday Jingle Glitter Polish. I actually have it as my accent nails today mixed with some other glitters. Um, it was pretty much brand new and look, look how much I've used. It's to like right here, but I've only used it 11 times. Um, I've got to use it nine more times. I don't know if I can get it done by the next update, but I do hope to have at least a few, a few more uses on it, even if it's just for an accent nail and mystery spot, which is kind of like Groundhog Day. Um, I picked the product that when I use it up, it's kind of like Groundhog Day because then I'll be starting on something that's very similar. It's um, a lip balm from Event Blossom. <clears throat> I've barely used this. It's potted. I don't like potted stuff. I am working on another lip balm right now. As soon as I have an empty um, lip balm container, I'm probably going to melt this down and put it in like the twist up typical lip balm kind of packaging. So yeah, this one is going to be in here for a little bit until I can, you know, get that other packaging. I do have some new products. I was like, where did I put them? Um, so I am rolling in three new products for the last two episodes of season three and the first episode of season four. I can't wait. I'm, I, I'm excited to be starting on season four again. Um, and I do sometimes rewatch these episodes right before an update just because I like to refresh it in my mind. But, um, you know, I'm not going to give you all the details or anything like that because, you know, it's not necessary. If you haven't seen it, you wouldn't understand anyway, but... I know some people out there do watch. All right. The first one is Time is on My Side. That one is about a doctor that is absolutely obsessed, obsessed with eternal life. And <clears throat> I just, I decided to use that as my focal point for my product. I have the Exuviance Age Reverse. It's a hand peel. Um, this is the actual peel and this is the neutralizer hand cream. I have put this in past projects and neglected it. I have neglected it, but I've kind of reworked some things in my head and I'm really trying to work on things and get them done. So I'm hoping that I can stay focused on this. It is a duo product, but you know, I'll just be happy when that is done. Um, the next one is going to be a usage product that is no rest for the wicked. And, um, I went with a play on the title and I have chosen the ColourPop Jelly Mutt Shadow in No Rest for the Vivid because, you know, it's a cute play on words. So this is what it looks like. It is such a pretty color. I am very much looking forward to using this. Um, this has been sitting in my um, drawer for a little bit, so I probably will need to um, put a little like, contact solution, saline solution into it before I use it, even though it still gives a pretty good swatch. It's pretty sheer, but it's pink with like a blue shift. I, I absolutely love it. It it looks more pink in person than it shows up on camera. You get more of the shift on camera, I think, but I really enjoy that one a whole lot. So this one is gonna be 20 uses, which I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all. And then for season four, so excited. Um, Lazarus Rising is the episode. I will went again a play on the name of the episode and I chose the Exuviant Skin Rise Morning Glow, you know, the whole rise thing since Lazarus Rising. Um, these are new. Oh, they smell so good. I've only used one of these. So these are like toner pads and they, they, they're so good for your skin, but um, the smell is perfect to wake you up in the morning. I'm excited to be using these. So um, that is, I don't know how many is in here. I want to say like 40-ish, 36 pads. So definitely can't have them done by the first update. And I don't know if I, it's something I want to use daily, every other day, every third day, something like that. But I do want to get this whole entire product used up. So those are my products done, products rolling over and products rolling in. I am excited to continue on with this project because I love it. I love the show. I love 
like linking things to the episodes. And this is a hard one. Um, makeup and some like, I don't want to say it's like good versus evil, but it kind of is. Um, it's hard to find makeup products for 15 seasons worth of episodes to actually tie in to that kind of a theme. But that is what I love about doing themed projects is the challenge to work my brain in order to figure out how to make those work. So this to me is just absolute heaven. I know I'm a weirdo. It's okay. I, I, I've, I've come to terms with my, my weirdness. I, I embrace it. See, I embrace it. Look, see, I'm a total dork. I've got that girl on today. Totally cash. It's raining like cats and dogs outside and I am just chilling. I'm going to wrap this up because my husband is out there waiting to watch an episode of Grimm. And yeah, I think that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.